Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm doing another painting video on some tiny canvases. Now these canvases were lovingly purchased for me by my friend Eden. She got them at a place called Mission Australia and they're just like little secondhand canvases. And then yeah, the little pack of three was actually a dollar so that's actually really good. So yeah, let's get into it. Now I started off with um, adding a little bit of a layer of gesso onto uh, some of the canvases mainly because they didn't have a wrapper on them and they obviously were second hand which is no problem because I can just add some gesso onto it and it's basically like a perfectly fresh canvas. <laughs> so yeah for the first painting I wanted to do a bit of a, I don't know, <laughs> my boyfriend kind of asked me if I could paint Ant-Man on his little ant Antony and when your boyfriend asks you to paint Ant-Man on Antony you paint Ant-Man on Antony <laughs> um, it was such a cute idea and I really wanted to do it and yeah I'm really excited about the new Ant-Man movie which is coming out uh, soon ish I think I forget the date that it's coming out but it's coming out and yeah I just wanted to do it because you know why not now I started off with a layer of a sort of soft blended uh, bokeh kind of blurred background and I mainly wanted to do this because it was really fun just mixing all the paint around in different colours and I thought it would make a nice little background which it did so. Once that layer was dry I started painting in Antony now which is a flying ant that Ant-Man likes to uh, ride on and fly around I guess <laughs> and yeah it was actually a lot of fun and it's kind of funny because in my last uh, painting tiny canvas videos I actually did a little artwork with ants as well so I guess it's pretty cute that I'm continuing the ant thing. <laughs> So yeah, I just used a range of browns which I mixed myself and I did a sort of lighter brownish colour with a bit of thinner paint and that was to do the wings as well. And then I had little speckles here and there in the wings because he does have little veins in his wings but with these tiny canvases it's really hard to get small details even with the tiniest brushes. So I just did the best that I could. Now Ant-Man isn't perfectly detailed, however when you look at the piece as a whole at the end it does look like him and it has his likeness so you know, pretty cute. And as you can see I'm actually getting my face pretty close and you can see me a bit in the camera and that's mainly because these canvases are really tiny. I, I actually think they are smaller than the ones that I started out with, so yeah, that's pretty interesting. As you can see, I had a little bit of difficulty putting in Ant-Man's uh, details. However, I'm pretty happy with the result and it's pretty cute and to be honest my boyfriend is pretty stoked with this little painting and he told me that he wanted it so I'm going to give it to him which is pretty cute I guess. <laughs> oh and also at the end I painted in some little uh, ant flying ants in the background which I, I don't know, I just guessed that it would look cool and I guess it did. Now of course this wouldn't be a scribble fix video without uh, drawing Pokemon which is something that I really really love doing. So of course I wanted to paint a Pokemon on one of these tiny canvases, at least one of them. <laughs> and I decided to do uh, the Pokemon Cloister. Now funny reason uh, why I decided to do Cloister and that was mainly because my friend Mitch over at Shockmouse, he does like animations occasionally and um, yeah in a couple of his animations uh, a Cloister featured in that. So there's been a running joke with um, with that video and we wanted I wanted to do a cloister just to reference that because it's pretty funny um, I will put a link in the description with his animations if you want to go check them out he's pretty funny <laughs> So yeah, for this artwork I decided to sketch out the rough uh, outline of Cloister, mainly because he's fairly detailed and just doing it point blank with uh, acrylic paints would, would be a little bit more difficult. So yeah, I just decided to do that. Now Cloister mainly has a purple body with some grey parts and some like 
he has like a really dark black face and yeah I just wanted to do a dark blue background so it's sort of like it's underwater um, deep underwater that kind of thing because I thought that it would pop out nicely and would have some nice contrast against the colors and yeah that actually worked out pretty well now of course uh, I wanted to say something closer funnily enough actually looks very very similar to Ghastly have you ever noticed that he basically has the exact same face and same coloring as well and I'm pretty sure they're both poison type but yeah he basically has the exact same head if you got like a picture of Cloyster and put like a Gaussian blur around the background of him he would look like Ghastly I'm just noticing that now why haven't I noticed that before Anyways, what is this narration? So yeah, once I got down the nice uh, colours for the cloister using a lot of uh, pinks and purpley colours, I decided I wanted to make it a little bit more contrasty and that's why I decided to put a very thin black outline around cloister because with the Pokemon uh, art style, they do have a lot of black outlines and that kind of stuff. So I wanted to do that because it would end up looking more like the Pokemon. And yeah, with just a few more details here and there, fixing up Cloyster's face and his uh, creepy smile, and also adding some nice little highlights here and there, we are pretty much done with Cloyster. Now for this last artwork, I kind of wanted to get in a little bit of a mermaid, I guess. I wanted to do a little mermaid with a like sort of watery background and a little sunset and the mermaid sitting on some rocks. Now of course this is a bit of a, a crazy feat considering this is the smallest canvas out of the three. So yeah, it was a little bit difficult, however I was up for the challenge and I wanted to give it a go. So yeah. <laughs> It was actually a lot of fun doing the water and, um, you know, the sky, that kind of thing. That kind of thing I do often, so it was pretty fun and it was pretty simple, I guess. <laughs> um, what, one thing I would have changed would be to have not so much of thicker paint on um, the line where you can see where the sky meets the water. That kind of uh, added a little bit of a ripple, especially once it was dry. However, it's no problem because, you know, this is just me having fun and giving it a go. Now for the grey of the rocks of the mermaid to sit on, I added some little bits of orange here and there into the grey just so it would fit in the scene because the, the sunset is casting a pretty bright orange uh, light onto the piece. So of course I'm going to add bits of orange here and there in the colours just so it looks like it matches. Now for the mermaid, I decided to go for a red tail and some like salmon-y, pinky, peachy fins. And yeah, this was just because I wanted it to be a nice warm color palette. Now this mermaid is pretty basic. <laughs> it was really, really hard to even get it to like look like a mermaid because it was so tiny. Like it looks fairly large in the image. However, it's pretty big. But yeah, here is the final three artworks and I'm actually pretty happy with them. They are pretty cute and simple, however, I like them. Um, I would probably say my, my favourite would be Cloyster, very closely followed by Ant-Man and the Mermaid. I do like the Mermaid, however, it's pretty simple but cute, so you know, I like them all. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out my other video where I did um, canvases like this that were pretty small. If you haven't checked that out already. <laughs> Make sure you hit like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.